Hello everybody, we're back again with the A1 gasifier. Now I have done a few mods. I've only just uh, fired it up for the change in uh, the fire cone and a few other mods including a hopper vibrator from an AC motor, which I'd like to show, do a close up there. As you can see I'm running unfiltered gas at the moment and it's a far cry from the first run that I had done. As you can see we've got a nice Halloween orange flame there and I have done a few extras since the last video where I had it pulled apart. I have a manometer over here. I have the fan hooked up to a pulse width modulator and I've got it running fairly low. Now the vibrator is pretty loud so I'm going to flick the switch on that which is in here and It's rumbling that fuel nicely down there. I'll just hit the great shaker as well. And there we are. I've got a good, I'm going to give it a little blast and we get a nice little shake up of everything. I'm running wood chips at the moment, hardwood wood chips. I've got uh, probably about an hour's worth in there and I've only just fired this back up so I've pretty much got a burnable gas straight off around about a minute's firing through the ignition port so I think that's pretty good um, just give that another shake a quick blast and eventually I will be hooking these two up to timers but I'm trying to get the mechanics working before I go putting any more electronics and things onto the machine uh, I have got an inline filter which I fitted here as well with more filter medium and I'm experimenting with um, with filters and mediums, that kind of thing at the moment, and finding um, a few different things that work and a few things that don't work. Uh, manometer, I have a big heat shield here which separates all the filters and the radiator from the... Um, I want to thank Flash001 for all his help here, because changing that invert bell over has made a world of difference to this gasifier. It really has. I'll probably be running a 15 the 18 horse motor off the generator with, for this. Um, other than that, it's just a simple case of, you know, having a lot of fun with it and I'm really learning how to operate it and it's just a case of putting timers on it now and I can just walk away and let it run for an hour or two. I'm just going to shoot that um, hopper agitator or shaker, whatever you want to call it, vibrator and um, shake that fuel down a bit more. And you only really need short blasts on it to get that shaken down. And a little bit on the uh, great shaker. And that's all you need. Now, now back again. I've just thrown it through the filters. As I said, I'm still experimenting with filter material. Um, the next thing I'm probably going to try is the um, steel wool at the moment I'm using uh, pillow stuffing, which is a synthetic substance, and I'm just ripping it apart and stuffing and putting it in the filter cans. The flame, it's obviously cracked tar, there's no yellow in that, but I did have a much bluer flame earlier on. I don't know, I don't think the filters are up to this task, but I'll just turn that modulator down a little bit, and I'm just going to show you just quickly how the um, vibrator works when I flick it on. I'll just get it to run just quickly and then flick it off. Just so you get an idea of how this thing operates. It's going to be loud. So here we go. Just a quick skim over here. And there you go. That's deafened me pretty nicely. And now for the grate. You can hear that rumbling. This is how this little jigger works. Just enough to shake the grate nicely. And that's the thing that gets nice and cool with the heat shield. And I'll just flick that off. Now I've just turned that motor back down a bit. Now the next thing, once I get that, get that filter system sorted, and I get a nice clean gas. It's fairly clean. You can see the hints 
it's, it's almost see-through. It's very purple in colour uh, against that black roller door there. You can just see that's pretty damn good. Uh, obviously, the gasifier needs to warm up. Um, it needs to warm up a lot, I think, in order to get it cleaner. But the but the filters do make a big difference. Um, it's still got an orange tinge in it, and uh, the next step would be to probably get the um, generator and try this gas through it. Once I get these this filter situation. Look, guys, I just I've had it running for about 40 minutes now, and. I've got this almost see-through flame and I thought I'm just going to record this just so that everyone can see. I've had to hold it up to a dark spot somewhere in the shed here so that you can just see the heat haze coming off that. I mean that gasifier is really nicely warmed up now and there's just a, there's a lot of blue there but being in the middle of the day it's very hard to see. You can just see the, the flames or the blue and the a tiny sort of tinge of purple 